welcome. This is nervous system hack number two on our path towards really efficient flexibility gains. Okay, if you're discovering this on YouTube or maybe I sent you a video on this, highly, highly recommend that you start at the beginning and you go to my website. There is all the information necessary. The tutorial is totally free because I care and because it's really, really helped my own life and I want you to understand how your body works. This nervous system hack is called pinging, pinging, and you can imagine it's similar to how a sonar pings, right? It sends a query out into the middle of the ocean. It says, show me, ding, 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 where are the incoming missiles? Where are the fish? Where are the X? Where are the Y? You can do the same thing in your body, okay? This pose, we're going to practice in seated forward fold. A few lessons ago, we did the standing forward fold. This is the exact same thing, just with slightly different physics, right? Gravity is going to be acting on you slightly differently when you're leaning forward as opposed to standing up and having gravity hit your waist. Okay, so check me out here. I'm setting my legs up properly. They're like two big tree trunks birthing from my hips. And the legs, and actually I'll adjust myself here, you can see the heels kind of going forward, 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 like a caterpillar crawl, right? That's giving myself a little bit more length, a little bit more space. Now, typically what people do when they're trying to stretch their hamstrings or the, the, in this particular pose, and you'll see this in yoga classes all the time, there's nothing wrong with it, it's fine, it's good, but it's not going to give you the exact flexibility that you're, you're looking for. Okay, you'll see it here, I'll, I'll even give you a demonstration here. It's where I grab onto my knees, my ankles, the bottoms of my feet, and I pull myself in. Hopefully, you're starting to gather why this might actually be counterproductive to our flexibility. Because the pulling, the attempt, the extra effort you're exerting in your body is creating the tension you're hoping to release. Does that make sense? You're pulling yourself, and your entire body is flexing in order to keep yourself there. All right, so what we're going to do instead, and this is a little, oh my gosh, <laughs> admittedly, it's a little bit even annoying for me, where I place the hands by my sides, palms facing up, and I don't reach, I don't grab, I don't, for the love of God, try to rip myself into the position. Instead, I'm going to slowly fall into the position. And at first, it won't seem like it'll work, but a few breaths in, a few lunar breaths in, you'll notice Oh, something's really happening. I'm actually getting more flexible, even though I'm not pulling. And ultimately, that's what we want in the first place, because if you are pulling yourself in rather than being able to get in naturally, how is that fluid motion, right? You don't have that sort of access or that body awareness. So you know what to do. You close your eyes. You don't look at me because my body is different from yours. It's going to cause some extra thoughts to go off in the mind. And first things first, you orient yourself. You go into the center of your head and you feel your body around you. This hologram, this ghost image, right? It's not perfectly accurate. It's just a guess as to where you are. Decent guess, yes, but just a guess. Okay, and when you're in the center of your forehead, before you begin your lunar breathing, I want you to ask your body where it's tense. Hear that again. Ask your body where it is tense. Okay, it will tell you. And I'm not talking about the tension that has to occur in order to keep your spine upright. I'm talking about in your hamstrings. I'm talking about in your low back. This part of you that's gripping and holding on unnecessarily. Okay, as you ping your body, it can appear in one of two ways. Oftentimes, for me, it's the first, where it's almost a sonar vision, where, like, um, you can imagine those little green and black um, circular icon sonar pings in a submarine that, that show exactly this one singular point. Or it can occur as, like, a heat map, like, just a general, like, oh, there's quite a lot of radiating tension from not just my low back, but the right lower quadrant of my of my right glute. Do you know what I mean? Like, it can be that specific. And when you've got that, when you're aware of the tension, one, the awareness itself dissolves it. Okay, so you don't even have to do a single breath, but just saying to your body, hey, Show me where you're tense. No judgment. No big deal. You'll relax. You'll relax. See it. Try it right now. You're not even breathing. You're just dropping in a little bit effortlessly. Let's try five deep lunar breaths together. Inhale through your nose for one, two, three, 
four. Exhale out of the mouth. Drop and drop and drop and drop. Go limp, go limp, go limp, limp. Easier, easier. Good. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. Let go. Drop your toes, drop your knees, everything in the hamstrings. The only thing that's active is your hip flexors, your core, which is bringing you down. You drop the rest. You go limp. Good. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold at the top. You got it. Let the breath go all the way down the legs. Now exhale. And free fall. Do less. I promise. It's way easier than you're making it. Just drop yourself. Just drop yourself. Trust. Blah, blah, blah. Drop. Yes. Okay. Two more breaths. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Eight, seven. Free fall. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. Final breath. Here we go. Inhale. One, two, three, four. As wide as the moon. Keep going. Keep going. And then exhale. Ah, seven, six, five. Fall to the ground. Four, three. Head all the way down. Two, one. Now, okay. Extrapolate this out. What would happen if you did this for another two minutes? What would happen if you got even more accurate, even more dialed in with your attention, right? You would see rapid flexibility improvement. Now, of course, you have to feel the body stretching. So there's this component of just hanging on, staying in it, even when things get uncomfortable physically or emotionally. But for the rest of the part, this is it. You're, you're doing it. And we can keep going. Uh, you can come on up, you can stretch the body, move the body around. I encourage you to finish the tutorial, even if your body says, oh, I think I've learned enough. There's a few more key nervous system hacks that are going to light your life up. It's going to be so, so helpful. I will see you in the next page.